Hi everyone, if you're into live streaming or want to get into live streaming, there's a very useful feature that's now available on the latest versions of OBS and Wirecast. I'm using OBS 27 and Wirecast 15, and they both allow you to capture in 4K. So if you've got a capture card like the CamLink 4K that allows you to input 4K, then you can use this. Now when you're live streaming, you're not generally live streaming in 4K. In fact, all the demand I get is usually HD. Now, that's kind of useful because I can now crop in on 4K and zoom in like 200% without really losing any resolution on my live stream. It kind of gives me two cameras. So rather than sitting behind the camera, I can now zoom in using this method. Now, I've got OBS in front of me. I've got another video showing you how to do this on Wirecast. I'm gonna quickly show you how it works on Wirecast here because it does kind of, in my opinion, do a slightly better job. But you pay for Wirecast and that can kind of be a little bit expensive. So let's just take a look here at what it does. So here's OBS and you can see I've got my scenes here. I've got a wide and I've got a zoomed. Let's just do a transition here. So there you can see me on the right. That's what would be going out on the live stream. This side here on the left is capturing in 4K. That's 3840 by 2160 pixels. And on the right, it's in HD. I've got 1920 by 1080. If I click here on this scene here, which is the zoomed one, and let me just move that around. There I am, zoomed in. Now I could just hit transition. Very nice. And you could just do this as a cut, but there you go. It's nice, it sort of fades in just a little bit as it does it. Now I mentioned Wirecast, and I just want to quickly show you Wirecast and check it out in the next video if you're interested. So let's just go over to Wirecast. Here I am, I've just quickly set up. There's the 4K version, there's the zoomed version. Let me click on the zoomed version. Now it's set to smooth here. Watch what happens when I do the transition. It's just a nice, gentle zoom and I have done some settings there to make it a bit smoother and ease in and out but come back on that one but you can see it's more like a zoom than a transition. So let me just go back to OBS and here we are. So how do I set this up? So this is the normal camera that I've got here and if I double click on it you'll see that the device I'm using is the CamLink 4K. Unfortunately this isn't going to work with my A10 mini because that only does 1080. So that's the one I've got. The preset, that should be here. And now you can see it's all resized over here. So let me just do this as if I'm adding in a new camera. So let's add in a new scene, new camera. Let's go and choose a video capture device, 4K camera, number two. Let's add that in. Let's choose my device, which is the CamLink 4K. Let's make that, that one there, which is the high definition. So that was the top one here. I did have to switch the camera on for it to kind of detect all of that. Click OK. There I am. Now, what I did before is I actually duplicated it. I go new camera. I just right click on that, duplicate, new camera two. You can change that to another name, new camera zoomed. It's kind of useful to do that. And now I'm going to actually just increase it. I'm just grabbing the corner here and dragging it. So I could do this by punching in the numbers if I know what the numbers are. I could go into edit transform I could adjust the position, I could adjust the size here, although I would have to type in the numbers here. It's not actually recognizing the kit locking the aspect ratio. So let's just click close. But here I can just move it to get it just right. So that's what's that's picking up over here. Let's just do that. And you can see that it's got this kind of zebra pattern around the side showing me that it's outside of my area. So there's the new camera. 
Let's hit transition so that's now on the right and the new camera zoomed and hit the transition. I've got that coming up. So you could do this by having a cut instead. So I just went down to here to scene transitions and chose cut right here. Then when I do transition, it just cuts from one to the other. I think you might agree actually that the wirecast doing it as a zoom is actually a little nicer, but you can do it as a cut as well if you prefer. And obviously you could have stingers and all sorts of things like that, but for conferences and maybe lectures, you're not gonna be using stingers. So that's how you do it on OBS. So you can set up more if you want. So if I go and create another one, let's just quickly do this. I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm not gonna worry about the name, but let's say you've got two people side by side. Perhaps you might wanna move them over to one side of the screen and then you could have the other person on the other. I would angle this a little bit differently so you could see it, but you could then transition from one to the other. So you could actually pan across like that. So as you can see, this is really handy. You could potentially crop in a little bit more, but don't overdo it. You don't want people to see the pixels or potentially the image getting a bit soft. For me, this is gonna kind of give me more range on my cameras and I'll be able to crop in just that little bit more. And it kind of livens up the live stream just a little bit as well. If you wanna see how this works on Wirecast, then join me in the next video. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and come back for more.